So from India, indeed, uh, my name is Ujjain here, and I am a computer security guy. And I know what you people think about computer security guy. So the computer security guy are the one who are always telling you the no. No, you can't do that. No, you can't use that services. No, you cannot set up that new thingy. You can't buy and use that devices, not in our network. So I am sick and tired of telling people no. So I have decided to change the way of I'm working and from now on, every time somebody come and asking me whether they want to do something in our network or start enable some new services and start doing something new. And that the time, I will always say yes. Yes, that's okay. Yes, you can. Yes, but. Yes, but because of course we have to take computer security into considerations in everything we do. But we can't let the security slows down. We can't let the security keep us down. So we all are working on the high phase of internet. So my first question to all of you now, are you really safe on the internet? Yes or no? Okay, why you are not at all safe on the internet? Please tell me. What? Okay, so you are not at all safe on the internet? Number one, right now your Aadhaar card is linked with your bank account. Yes or no? Your biometrics means your retina or your fingerprint is attached to your Aadhaar card. Your Aadhaar card is linked with your bank account and there are a lot of mobile phone companies provide you different kind of facility like face recognition and fingerprint sensors. And we people using it because we want digitalization. But at the same time, mobile phone companies knows everything about you. They only want your Aadhaar card number and they can access everything. So you are not at all safe on the internet. The next question, what is the biggest lie on the internet. Please tell me what is the biggest lie on the internet? Biggest scandal. Greatest scandal on the wave. And the biggest lie on the internet is that I have read the terms and I accept to the license and agreements. And I know people lie on the internet. And how do we know this? Because we haven't treated the terms and conditions. We do not treat the terms and conditions. Then what we click? Okay. How do we know this? Because we've set up a free internet hotspot in Mumbai region and we provide the free internet to all the users who accept our terms and conditions. And our terms and conditions mention that using this kind of Wi-Fi, you have to give your first born child baby to Mr. Ajink here. And if you don't have a child, we will take your favorite pet animal. And at the end of the day, all the healing people clicked. Okay, like what the hell is that? So please read the terms and conditions carefully before accepting anything. And you know what? Human being operates on trust. We trust continually throughout the day without even a second thought. We trust the people we pass on the street not to attack us. We trust the driver not to hate us. And there are a lot of services you have, no choice but to trust. You trust the company that wrote your operating system like Microsoft or the Apple. You trust the email services, you trust the cloud services that's handling your data. And there are a lot of services you have, no choice but to trust, right? And the government of the countries, those companies are from. Any of them has the capability to support your information and take control of you. And we people share our personal information with different platform. We share our personal information with Facebook. We share our professional information with LinkedIn. And sorry to say, but LinkedIn is just like a Tinder for me. You share everything now, your personal thing, your financial things, right? You share your email ID, you share your password, you share your mobile number. Every single minute, every single second, you produce more and more data. And data is the new oil, right? Data is the new oil. Always remember one thing. Gmail is the single system sign for whole internet. What? Gmail is the single system sign for whole internet. Everything starts from Gmail, everything ends with Gmail never deletes all your email. So you can still find out your eight year back emails with using Gmail. One more thing. Now how hacker makes money with your data? So basically hackers sell your information. They can compromise your business email account and they sell the information to the other hackers, right? Now the login page of every single online store has a magic button. And the magic button says, I have forgotten my. <laughs> <password>. <laughs> so 
So whenever you buy something now, you got some sort of welcome message in Gmail, right? Like Amazon or something else, right? And at that at the time you put your traditional here. So always make unique email IDs, always make unique password, and always turn on the notifications on have I been born? You heard about it? Have I been born? If you want to check your account has been compromised in some data theft or in some data breaches, please visit the website. Because once your account compromise, everything compromised. Then, next one. Right now, you know what? Cyber criminal gangs working 24 into 7 to get your financial details, to get your personal Facebook chat, which is quite a deal, right? Nobody wants to give that. Or you want to give that. They are working 24 into 7. And now, cyber criminal gangs understood that their operations needed a reputation. Like cyber, honest cyber criminal gangs. Then next one, smart mattress. You heard about it, smart mattress? Do you know anything about smart mattress? Mattress? Right? So basically smart mattress made in Spain. There are a lot of sensor inside the smart mattress. Then they will have an app. Means if you are outside your home and if your bed is used in a suspicious way, the hailing app will warn you if your bed is used or not. Like what the hell is that? Means your privacy is also connected to the internet, everything. And we cannot survive without the internet. We cannot survive without the electricity. Yes or no? Just think about it now. During the 1980s and the 1990s, it's very hard to connect with one another one another. Nowadays we are having the different options. For dating purpose, you have you are you are having like different dating applications like Tinder happen. Yes or no? You are having like different social media platforms. Just think about it now. In those days, we store the cash in the bank. Still we do. Now we have a bank, but we don't have a cash. Yes or no? We are having the different options like NFTs. You heard about the NFTs? Blockchain, cryptocurrencies. Yes or no? So smart matters being in Spain. So don't post your information on the social media platform. Don't post any critical information on the social media platform. Don't worry, you already hacked. Now, why? Because you shared everything. It starts from your ISP provider. It starts from your SIM card provider. Yes or no? You provide your biometrics now. You provide your information. Email ID is password. Then next one. How many of you were using LinkedIn in 2012? Raise your hand. LinkedIn. Okay. So basically, LinkedIn was hacked in 2012. And all of you know this guy. Mark. He's a smart person, right? Yes or no? Obviously, obviously he's a smart person. So LinkedIn was hacked in 2012 and Mark Zuckerberg had an account on LinkedIn and the LinkedIn database became a public in the last summer. I go through and check the Mark Zuckerberg LinkedIn password and by the way, Mark Zuckerberg LinkedIn password was da, da, da. And all of you know he's a smart and he wasn't using da 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 at his password on Facebook. I'm guessing he was using da 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 at his password on Facebook. And to make worse, to make worse, Mark using the same password almost everywhere. And this is really a stupid idea. So don't use the same password everywhere. Always make unique password, always make unique email IDs. Okay, then next one. So basically we are working 24 into 7 to find out the vulnerabilities in the different applications. And actually we need the hackers, we need the security researchers. Then next one, popcorn ransomware. You heard about the ransomware? Ransomware, Trojan viruses. Yes or no? So basically ransomware infect your system, encrypt your file and ask you to pay some sort of Bitcoin. So some sort of ransom, right? So Russian hacker made a ransom called popcorn. Popcorn infect your system, encrypt your file and ask you to pay 1000 euros. Means if you want your files back for free, they will provide you another option. They will provide you the URL and you need to you need to infect two of your friend and you will get your files back for free. So just imagine the victim is a home user who doesn't have 1000 euros. First victim doesn't have 1000 euros, infect two more victims. Two more victims doesn't have 1000 euros, infect two more victims. Like goddamn dinosaur. And it's very hard to angry these kind of people. So honest cyber criminal gangs and once you, once you had been paid the ransom now, you will get your files back for sure. Okay, now they, are, they understood that their operation needed a reputation and you need to recommend the five star. You can check the portals, different portals, cyber portals. You heard about the dark net? Do you know anything about dark net? Deep web, deep web, dark net. So what is a deep web? 
what is a deep wave so it is a part of world wide web you can access only the normal surface web browser you can access only the 5% of the internet but if you want to access the 95% of the illegal activities now you can access through dark net now in dark net you can hire a shooter you can buy the illegal drugs you can do a lot of activities you heard about the raid rooms mariana waves even you can hire a hacker you can intercept any social media platforms you can do a lot of things you can intercept the aadhaar card voter id number okay so if you want to access the things you can access through dark net and assassination killers are there okay assassination assassination killers are there black hatters are, are there they, they are they are creating different sort of like you know ransomware and the viruses then the next one if you want to access the credit card information if you want to store if you want to buy the stolen credit card information please visit here from dom's website one of the finest website then my next question is to all of you now how many of you think that antivirus software really work i am talking about antiviruses yes or no no in the underground hacking community there will be a lot of the people who will argue lot of the times that the antivirus companies created their own viruses spread on the internet and selling your account information one more thing recently the israel institute of technology collected the attitude viruses ran against the malware detection engine like top branded antiviruses and the very first initial stage the antiviruses only detect the 5% of malware so what about the 95% because everyone is just doing a business no one is taking care of your security no one is taking care of your privacy and privacy is non negotiable stuff privacy is non negotiable thing so don't post any critical, critical information on any social media platform never link your account with the different social media platform because once your account compromise everything compromise the next question is google doing a great job is google doing a great job yes or no wow yes really yes or no no so google product are excellent right their services are excellent i just wish i could pay for them with money instead with my privacy right google provide you the 86% services and the products like google uh, google drive uh, then the gmail and we people using it because we want what digitalization so data is the new oil number 2 don't connect any hardware devices to your laptop don't use the antiviruses don't use the anti spyware number 3 please learn the stuff about the blockchain you heard about the blockchain term what is a blockchain it's a chain of blocks which contains the information about the sender receiver and transaction and blockchain is also vulnerable everything is connected to the internet means everything is vulnerable everything is hackable and always remember security the properties of security and smartphone will be properties of everything okay now okay deep fakes and uh, okay fine so we already seen the first way of revolution now what is the first way of revolution every single device took online we already seen right first way of revolution now it's time to see the second way of revolution now what is the second way of revolution after 10 to 15 years later now internet it is just like invisible thing it just like here you can access the internet with high bandwidth no need to pay a huge amount of extra fee no need to pay a huge amount for extra fee and it will happen i am damn sure about it because nothing is impossible everything is possible thank you so much